Hey, welcome to Joe's Multiverse. I'm Joe, and today the universe that we're going to be visiting is Marvel Legends Into the Spider-Verse Wave. Is that a is that a universe? Well, uh, Into the Spider-Verse. Well, that's a few different. Un Nevertheless, let's take a look at these wonderful figures. I have already cracked out Miles Morales here, so we're going to take the Miles. What happened to you? Wait a minute. Ah, that's better. All right. I had to take this guy out uh, long ago when I first got him because I just, I needed to uh, pose him around and, and kind of see uh, what he could do and his limitations and um, just uh, get a closer look at him. So he's very, very cool. So we have that piece in there. We got to get that out of there. And he comes with his little little thwipping fingers and an extra fist cuff. Now from the We need the struggle bus. Come pick me up. Like for real. Down into the depths of the multiverse here. Yeah, I'm not real crazy about how this looks on this particular body, this uh, this alternate head. But we got it. But here's what we're after. This uh, back and, and chest uh, armor piece here. So we'll set that aside. Holy crap. All right. I'm over it. And I had done a review on the Prowler. So we won't have to take him out of the box. I do have his box, but I already have the, uh, the arm for that and his fisticuff. But, and I'm surprised I haven't taken this out yet, um, Peter B. Parker. And it comes with the head for the stilt man. So let's take him out. How is everybody finding uh, these figures? Has, has everybody that wants these been able to find them? Are they uh, showing up <clears throat> in abundance on the pegs at your local Target and Walmart. This is the first time I've been able to uh, get this guy in my hands. I've seen a lot of pictures and reviews, but that is very cool. I was really excited about this figure. But um, I know the hand ninjas are really kind of hard to come by. I keep dropping stuff. Just struggling. Maybe we'll take out the rest of Peter B. Parker's accessories later because we want to get to putting this guy together and you see him maybe we should brighten things up how's that Is that a little better all right this is really interesting frogman i don't always feel so good taking these out of the box. I mean, I have to, but part of me wants to keep them in the box. Now, is this gun <clears throat> that's been reused so many times, is that for the stilt man? I believe so. I don't think it's for the frog man. I don't see a picture of the gun in either of their hands. These big web feet. One of the best reuse, reuses of a uh, body mold ever with the uh, Dr. Octavius. This is, this is a really, boy, what's going on today? <laughs> Just a really cool figure as obscure and um, everything that it is. And so we have the other arm. Um, oh, and another fisticuff. 
We got Gwen Stacy here. And she's looking marvelous. I am a huge Gwen Stacy fan. I have the, uh, the or I should say Spider Gwen. Um, <clears throat> Spider Gwen fan. I have a big uh, framed poster uh, over here and I love my Spider Gwen figure. This one, I don't know if it's just because she looks so young. You know, I, I, I don't... I mean, she just looks like a kid, so I don't really get super excited about this figure the way that I did the other Spider-Gwen figure. I, I don't know. I, I just feel differently about it. <clears throat> this is this is what I like. That's, that's cool. Yeah. I might, uh, I don't know. I might put that on her. And then, of course, we have the uh, one point of articulation spider ham, spider baloney. And we have the torso to the stilt man. And I've already taken one of my hand ninjas out. So. We have an empty box, but we have the legs to that. And we have two more hand ninjas. And I believe my friend Ben, um, I think he picked me up another one of these. So when when he comes to visit, he uh, I believe he'll bring that. And then we can build Stil Stilt Man taller. And I don't know how many we're going to get. I don't... I kind of like to see them on the floor in as high as the shelf, maybe. But these are kind of hard to get a hold of. And I already have three of them in my possession. And that is way more. That's three times as many as I could have hoped for. And I'm very grateful for having those. So we'll see. I mean, I'd like an army of, of these guys. But um, I won't uh, let my expectations get out of control so i'm going to take these two out so we have all three of the hand ninjas taken out and from the movie we got the uh we got the prowler we got peter b parker we have miles spider gwen spider ham and then i also grabbed my spider-man noir that Nicolas Cage voiced, but we don't have the um, that young Asian girl with the robot. I can't remember what her name was, but um, I'm sure we'll probably get that. So we have all those. <clears throat> so now we have all of the Build-A-Figure pieces. Let's start to assemble. Let's see. Oh, we could probably put his arms on first. Ooh, doesn't that snap in nicely? It's not like these uh, big guys that really take some muscling. It's snapping in real nice. So we got that. And <laughs> here I am looking for the legs. Okay. And then we will we put that on first. We need to put that on before we put his head on. I don't know, we'll see. His head is a little... Ooh, caught it in my lap. I don't want to bend those little antenna things. Okay, is it just me? All right. Well, I dipped his neck in some warm water and... Uh, threw his head in there and it kind of mushed or slipped right on so we got his uh got his head on there securely hopefully you didn't have to do that before putting this on it's kind of a weird fit what has everybody else uh experience been with putting this guy together have you had to 
struggle with getting the head on? Have you struggled with getting his head kind of fixed or do I just not have his? All right, well, let's start. Boy. Putting his legs on here. And look at that. For all intents and purposes, uh, we have officially assembled Stilt Man, but we need to make him taller. So let's make some room to make old Stilt Man taller. Huh? That wasn't creepy, was it? All right. Boy. That takes off more than I would hope. We're going to have to do the same with these. Port them in like so. Prepare to get wobbly. All right. Ooh, look how tall he is. Yeah. Jeez. I guess we didn't have to stand up too much. Now, let's see how he fares with the stand. I like that I got all these extra stands now. That's very cool. He's standing by himself. You have to look at this. Here we got all the figures from the wave and I guess Devastator back there as well. He's just uh, making sure everybody's behaving themselves. But there's Stilt Man. Take a look at him. Oh, sorry. Geez, look at him way up there. Very tall. Don't look too bad. How about that? Pretty cool. Looking down upon all the other heroes. When he's fallen. I did not see that coming. Well, there he is. Well, that was Stilt Man. We'll have to find a way to secure him against something, um, depending on where we, uh, wherever I. Where I put him because he stands for a little bit but then um, after a few minutes he wants to fall and we'll just have to figure out what to do with these extra little nubby pieces but that's pretty cool I mean not the best build a figure ever not the uh, the biggest and, I mean, the tallest, or potentially can be the tallest. But I like uh, I like the whole wave uh, more than the actual build a figure. And a lot of times, I'll like the actual build a figure more than most of the wave. And I think a lot of people can uh, identify with that. But nevertheless. We have completed this wave, we've assembled the Build-A-Figure, and now we go on 
to the next project. All right, well, thank you for joining me here to assemble Stiltman and to grow him nice and tall. Until the next time we enter the multiverse. We'll see you later. <laughs>